Hi, my name is Michael Eskin, and I'm going to be showing you today how to set up and run Sonobus for the first time. After you launch Sonobus, the first thing you'll need to do is to set up your audio interface. Click the Setup Audio button, and you'll need to select your device type if you're on Windows. Select ASIO. We'll be doing another video for Macintosh users. Select your device. In this case, I have an internal M-Audio Delta card, as well as your inputs and outputs. Leave the outputs both enabled. Generally, you'll want to be able to hear stereo. But if your interface has more than one input and you're using only one microphone, you may want to uncheck one of these boxes. In this case, I am actually sending stereo to Sonobus, so I'm leaving them both checked. You'll want to set the sample rate ideally to 48,000 hertz and the initial audio buffer size to 128 samples. To create a new Sonobus session or to join an existing one by name, click the Connect box. Enter the group name in the group name box and the name you want to show up as in the displayed name box. If the group name doesn't already exist, Sonobus will create a new session with that name. For this demo, I have a session already running on some other devices called Demo, so I'll just go ahead and connect to that group. So now we are in a live Sonobus session and I have another device, my iPad, running a copy of Sonobus. And you can see it shows up here. If there were additional people in the session, they would just show up as additional strips going down the window. I can change the level that I'm hearing from that user by the slider here, as well as the pan, if I want to pan them right or left in my headphones. I can mute them. Now, pretty much, that's all you need to do to use Sonobus. Everything else is about optimization of latency and send and receive formats. You have the ability in Sonobus to control what format audio you're sending to each user in the session. The choice of audio format that you send pretty much depends on your broadband capability. By clicking in the Send Quality area, you can pick either compressed formats or uncompressed formats. The compressed formats, particularly at 96 kilobits per channel or above, are extremely high quality, but the trade-off is they have slightly higher latency, about two and a half milliseconds on each side of the connection. So they add about five milliseconds of, of additional latency. Additionally, the PCM formats use about 10 times as much bandwidth, but have lower latency. So if you have very high-speed broadband, you may want to try the uncompressed PCM formats. That's about all you need to know to get started using Sonobus. In the future, we will be posting additional videos showing advanced subjects such as jitter buffer management, recording, input and output effects, that sort of thing. Have fun and enjoy your experience with Sonobus.